All right, everyone, welcome back to their Star Wars Galaxy of Fears video with Fat Phil. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Assault Battle that just got released called Duel of the Fates Assault Battle. We're going to break it down, guys. We're going to talk about, you know, what it is, the rewards, whether or not I think this is a good direction for the game to head. Because while it's always new content, it really has seemed like a lot of new content lately is very much getting... The requirements are getting steeper and steeper to participate. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get into this. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's give a huge shout out to the channel members for their continued support. Again, if you're ever interested, that link is down below along with the link to the Discord server. So go make sure you guys check that out. Thank you again for getting back into regular content, trying to get more stuff out to you. Appreciate you guys continuing to support me. So we're actually going to break over to the uh, forums and we're going to move the fat face out of the way. So, in today's update, the Duel of the Fates Assault Battle is here, and Master Qui-Gon's available in Chromium Packs and Shipments. So, they start talking about it here that in today's update, we've launched the Duel of the Fates. One thing we wanted to make clear is that is uh, that isn't necessarily easy to understand in game, is the rewards table is a pool for a tier, meaning you will not earn all items in a tier, but will earn some of them. So, right away, like, you can see that, you know, that all of the rewards are not that you're not going to get all the rewards in some of these right which i mean it's what we're used to with the endor escalation but it does i think what scares me about it is there's a refresh cost for crystals and so it kind of seems a little bit predatory in my opinion that you're not guaranteeing rewards and giving out a crystal refresh for something like this um, and I know that kind of exists in other parts of the game, but I think in this particular situation, it's a little bit more predatory, at least in my point of view. Um, so the first tier, you just need them at any investment level, and then you're going to guarantee 2 million credits, 7 shards of Padawan Obi-Wan or Master Qui-Gon. So right away, it's 7 of either one. Then tier 2 is either Padawan Obi-Wan or Master Qui-Gon at 5 star you're going to get a guaranteed 2 million credits and 10 to 15. So now there's not only are you going to get one character or the other, but it's 10 to 15 shards of each, which again ups the refresh cost. Then you need them at 7 star, and here you will get 2 million credits and all of the following slicing materials. So here you will get all of this stuff, right? So you'll get all of these materials to be able to slice up your mods. Then tier 4 is Relic 5. This, you're going to get 5 million credits and 100 crystals and one of the following relic materials. So you're going to get one of these things here, which, I mean, the bronzium wiring carbonite circuit boards look nice. Uh, I would definitely say that that's kind of, that's pretty solid there if you could get those. But, I mean, you know, again, like, it's, you know, <laughs> relic 5. Then up to relic 7, you're going to need, you're going to get 5 million credits, 100 crystals, and additional possible drops, one of the following relic mat and one of the following signals, where you'll get Zimbital cards, impulse detectors, and error magnifiers. So one of those, and then white, green, or blue signal data, you'll also get a drop. Then tier six, which is relic nine required, five million credits, a hundred crystals, and then you're either going to get Gerda keypads or droid brains. Man, like this is the direction that the game is heading. You know, when you talk, when we go back, and we're going to flip over to the game here, right? We're going to flip back over to the game. We're going to move the fat face. When you talk about the generations of Swago, right? When you think about, you know, I did a video a while ago. I kind of need to, you know, change this because it's definitely changed. But when you think about the generations of Swago here, I don't even think the Naboo Raid generation is here. I think it's the Relic, you know, Relic 9 requirement generation that... The next generation of players is something that the gating behind things now is Relic 9. And I'm what like we're seeing this more and more with the raids, territory battles, this new assault battle, proving grounds, where a lot of a lot of content is no longer gated by skill as much as it is gated by relics. That you know, you think about, you know, the the Endor raid, right? To, for you to be able to, you know, get the times, you know, six multiplier, you've got to be relic seven, and you know, to get up here, you got to be relic eight. Where before, in a lot of raids, your gear level wasn't quite as important as your strategy. That you didn't need the max gear to be able to get a max score if you had the right strategies and stuff. Where here, they're kind of like, well, 
we're, again, it seems like they're limiting the skill. They're limiting the ability that, hey, if you have good mods, good strategy, good roster. Dobby. Sorry, my cat's going after my lunch. Get out of here, buddy. But I think what they're really doing is limiting our ability to be able to participate in aspects of the game without a crazy investment in relics. And again, I do not hate on new content. I just do not like when I feel that it is completely gated by relics. And like Proving Grounds was gated by relics, but also gated by 4 million galactic power. So I didn't have a problem with the relic requirement when galactic power was a threshold. If galactic power wasn't a threshold, I'd have a much bigger issue with the relic requirement for Proving Grounds. But because 4 million's there, you should easily have teams to be able to do that. But I think this one, like, it just seems like they're really going after you and saying, hey, you know what? You gotta have relics to get anything good. And, I mean, I'm at least, I'll say this. Like, they're doing a good job if we flip back over here. And I'm not gonna move the fat face this time because I want to keep it where it is. But when you go back over here... Like, at least some of the earlier tiers here, like tier 1 and tier 2, they're giving you shards of the characters for completing them, which is nice. But what I'll be curious about is how often is this event? If this, you know, assault battles are once a month. So, you think about for those of us who have these characters already, if you do nothing, it's going to take you a very long time to get these characters over the finish line with this event. So... I think it's something that's going to be nice for people who kind of unlock them in the marquee event, can earn a little bit of a little bit of rewards along the way, but um, I much more so think that this is a where the rewards are really going to help are if you're at this level, right? If you're over here, these are the levels that it's going to really make a difference for you. This relic seven, relic eight level, uh, or relic nine level, I should say. Where I think the lower tiers are just kind of, eh, you know, mediocre rewards. Um, but yeah, I did want to share this because it is news, right? And it is, I think it's nice. Again, we're getting additional content, but I'm not a fan of the Relic Gate, as I always say. I do, I do not like that. I think it's been something that they have really been pushing hard. And I think the one thing that gives you some confidence in the game that you could say is that Relic 9... It doesn't seem like Relic 10 is on the horizon. You know, I know I made that video and I feel like it's, you know, I think we could be ready for it. But it seems like they're really pushing us to try and invest more and more in Relic 9s. And they're, they are kind of slowly starting to put ways for us to get additional Relic 9 resources. Whether through the raid, you know, this event here. So I'll, if we see more stuff like that beginning to pop up, I would keep your eye out. Because I think that this will very much dictate how you can earn better rewards in the future. So, it, you know, I like th just something to think about here for a lot of players is that, you know, do you think about the the raid coming up, this Naboo raid? And one of the things they said is that, oh, Jar Jar is going to be the, you know, marquee team. But I said in my video, and I kind of stand by this, that I think the Galactic Republic under Queen Amidala is going to be far better because they have two hero units. And if you invest in pa Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, and take them to relic nine now you've got the ability to participate in that assault battle at the highest tier and earn additional rewards so you could potentially get a return on your investment if you do take them to that level so let me know your thoughts on that guys what do you think again may the force be with you i love you all and you know if we're watching this right now you're still watching i just want to say that gareth southgate can go like throw his head in a ditch i hope he's learning chinese because that's where he's going to be coaching this dude is an absolute like he should be investigated for crimes against the sport okay like i cannot believe that this dude trotted trent back out there in midfield after that disaster class that was put out against um you know serbia and then freaking today against denmark you can't you take harry kane your best player off the field take phil foden bakoya saka and you're replacing with jared bowen ollie watkins and Eze. like what did cole did cole palmer shag your wife or something like what are we doing like i i, I just i cannot stand this man he is I, I cannot stand this dude i cannot you put me on that sideline of that denmark game and england is winning and euros would be coming home now i'm gonna be sitting here cheering for slovenia just because i'm so sick of this england team Talk about how freaking good they are and watching a moron at the helm. Ugh. Anyway, had to get that off my chest. Love you guys. If you suck around for the soccer rant, let me know. See you in the next one. Cheers, my friends.